Good morning guys and welcome to today's video. We are making our way through to the Ugonjini area which is a little area within the Usindaswini area and Usindaswini is just outside of Verulam and uh, we're responding through to a situation that could turn out to be quite challenging but also quite exciting. They have got what they describe as being a black mamba inside the ceiling of their house. Well it's not quite a ceiling because they haven't got any ceiling boards in the house but what they have got is a plastic or material lining which is underneath the tiles of the of the roof and uh, they've said they've got a black mamba in between the tiles and that lining and it's been giving them hassles for the last few days they've been trying to get somebody to come out there but all the people that they've managed to get hold of are either miles and miles away and it's just too far for them or they are not comfortable coming into the rural and township sort of areas so today they got hold of me and I'm making my way through there for those of you that are new to the channel this is in the city of Durban in the province of KwaZulu-Natal and that is in South Africa. Let's get through to the house and see what we can do to help them with this little situation that they have on their hands. We'll see you guys there now. Right, so I've just made entry into the Ukunjini area and I'm just gonna quickly phone this complainant because he said when I get to this road I must give him a shout and he'll direct me the rest of the way because it's a little bit tricky and there's no road names some of the roads are dirt roads and uh, very challenging to to get to these houses unless somebody has really good uh, directions so I'm going to give him a call and uh, we'll see you shortly okay made contact and he told me to just proceed along this same road and he said he'll be standing on the right hand side of the road and he's wearing a maroon t-shirt and grey shorts. So, we just got to find him and then he's going to jump in the car with me and we will then drive through to his place. And you can see why there are snakes in this area. It is just absolutely perfect very very wild natural areas still around here there's a there's a big valley that runs through the back there and there's a river running through the bottom of the, the valley is this the car yeah this is him okay morning this is morning how's it good thanks <laughs> no no snakes here <laughs> Please may we take, take a right. ride, yes. Okay. Yes. It's not too far. Okay. Come park here. Inside here? Yes. Okay. Try to get the, the right spot to stop. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. Then the, 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 this, this thing is there on top of a uh, on top of that uh, black Black, 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 black roof. Okay. Yeah, it is right there, down there. Okay. What did you say? It, the animal is killed? The snake is killed? Yeah, what? it's killed two chickens for me. The chickens lay the eggs, the eggs on the next. I think it's it's trying to catch the, 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 the eggs. Okay. Or the small chicken. chicken. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and the, 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 the mom of that uh, small chicken maybe pick it uh, and yeah. it, Coming angry, biting it. Yeah, okay. biting. Okay. All right. Let's go look. Mm. Okay. I can't even tell you guys how hot it is in Durban. It is really, really hot, humid, and uncomfortable. And there's virtually no wind. There's a very, very slight little breeze. So there's not even. A, any wind to just cool a person down. So what this animal is doing inside a hot, hot roof that is in the blazing sun is anybody's guess. Hello. 
How's it? Good. On top here. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sitting there. Okay. No, for the little mouse is the mouse. So you think it's there now? Yeah, it is there. Yeah. Um. As you see, this hand is hanging. Yeah. It's heavy. Yeah. Are you gonna let me to to cut this? Is it sure? Okay. Okay. If it's moving, where does it go? I think I'm going this side or oh, that side. It's going all right uh, around, uh, around. I'm here. sorry. Oh, yeah. Big. It's coming. It's moving. Is it moving? A little bit. Hey, I don't know where to go. <laughs> Let me use that other knife. He's moving now. Oh, definitely, it's a snake. Make a make it open so if it's coming back here. Yeah, open it, open it so it's, uh, as much as you like. Because this is in there. It's a young little python. How big is it? Maybe two meters. It's very big, yeah? Two meters. Yeah, it's quite big. Okay, I was expecting a black mamba and that's why I was being so careful, <coughs> you know, with where I'm going to put my hands and everything. But now that I know it's a python, if I've got access to a part of the body, I can just grab it by hand. I don't really mind getting bitten by a python. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. More than once. <laughs> yeah. Mm. It's, opened a, yeah. it's opened a portion of plastic on this side. There you can see the python coiled up here. It looks like he's going up. Looks like he's sitting on top of this wall. Yeah, yeah to go up. Okay, so the head is here. The, the head is facing this way, so I'm going to touch him. Maybe he's going to come this way. And then I can catch him. And I stand on this 
it's strong. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's enough. Strong enough. Okay. <laughs> I just want to touch him and make him so he moves that side. I want to see where he's moving to. I Can you see the head coming out the side anyway? I know, I can't see. Okay, let me hold the tail on this side and come this side. Sorry. Good night, Bonnet up. Where's the knife? Knife. Okay. He's trying to call, call itself up. Yeah, you filming me? Get, get, you're going to run. Okay. There's a head. I have a card. There's a head. Right inside. There's a head. Right inside, yeah. It's moving, it's moving this way. Oh, you want to go that way? Yeah. Because yeah. you can come fast this yeah, side, you can still grab it. It's a mix of, here is a head, here is a head, right here. Okay. Yeah, got it. Huh? Wow. 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 <laughs> and it's strong, eh? Huh? Yeah. Not going to be happy now when I take it. We're biting and biting. We're going to fight. Yo, it's strong here. Eh? It's strong. Hello. Okay. You're gonna bite me now, or what? The python? Yeah. yeah. Baby python. It's a young, maybe... Maybe about two years old. Oh. Two or three years old. Three years. He's not very angry. He's not cross. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's the first path and I've caught in this area for quite mm. a long time. Mm. You can see it's shedding. Mm. It's growing up. It's one yeah, it's skin. I think from living inside the roof and going under the tiles it's mm. oh, yeah. scratched itself quite badly. Mm. Check here. Yeah. Yeah. On the tail it's okay. quite it's quite raw. Some of the skin has come off there. Got little scabs. Mm. Mm. Shame. Yeah, but at least now you can sleep in peace. Yes, yes, hey. Can I can I, I take a photo? Yeah, yeah, let's go outside. Fast for me. The people can see it nicely. Time was who I feel you say that and take a photo. Okay. Right here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for sure. Doesn't like to be grabbed by the yeah, neck. Yeah, yeah. Just a Yeah, not yeah. not hard, yeah. Okay. Then you are gonna swing goes, you better you try, try, try. It's like saying goes, if he have attack, Bravo. Make I take a No, my suit I know, man. I was badly on my suit. I'm waiting for you guys. Sure. 
Um, yeah, they, they do bite, they can bite, but this one... But they're not that aggressive. Yeah, it's not mm. really aggressive. Okay. I mean, it doesn't look like he's 100% well. You can mm. see there's some mm. stuff coming out the mouth here, some yeah. saliva. And then Shame he's not a happy snake, he's a little bit underweight. Yeah, these are supposedly claws from lizard ancestry. You can see uh, just on the sides of the cloaca, these, these little, what they call spurs. And the pythons use these little spurs. The males have bigger spurs than females. Yeah, and they use these spurs to open the cloaca of the female during mating. They're Yeah, balance. Yeah, anyway. In a pool. In a pool. Evangelical a pool. Yeah, these snakes like to eat chickens. chickens, <laughs> Put the tail first. Yeah, put the tail on the body. And then the head lost. Cool. Okay, thank you guys. Well, that was quite a cool one. Um, pleasant people. Uh, it was nice to let them handle the snake. It's not something that I usually would do, um, you know, unless the snake is harmless and the people are, are keen on, on handling the snake. But even then I have to be careful because some people are a little bit rough. Um, but being a bigger snake, that's a little bit harder for them to, you know, manhandle and, and hurt. Uh, I thought it was nice to just let them f get to feel what it feels like and feel the strength of it. Um, the snake is not in the best of conditions. Uh, it looks like it was trying to shed its skin. It didn't have a successful s shed and it looks a little bit dehydrated and dried out. So. I'm going to be taking the snake home to just give it a little bit of TLC, give it some water, um, soak it to try and help it get that shed skin off and then uh, maybe give it a meal or two and then set it free. Ordinarily, if the snake was in very good condition, I would have just taken it somewhere around here, uh, you know, not close to the homes and that I would find a nice valley where it's quite far. Um, the snake is not a danger to anybody, so it doesn't need to go a million miles away from people. Uh, being a harmless snake is no threat to anybody's life. Um, pythons are just a little bit of a nuisance to these people in the rural communities because they come onto their properties and eat their, their livestock, you know, their chickens, their smaller goats and that sort of thing. So they do become a little bit of a pest when they keep coming every week or two weeks or a month and, and eating their livestock. So it's not something that these people want to have around. But uh, I wouldn't need to go and take it a hundred million miles away. I would just take it, like I say, somewhere out in this general area where it is away from where people are living and where it's going to be able to get food naturally in the bush without bothering anybody but yeah um, so I'll probably keep the snake for 
just a week or so maybe two weeks just to get its condition up to um, up to standard and then I'll take a drive back somewhere here in the area uh, find a nice place where I can go down deep into the valley and it'll be set free and when I do that I'll be sure to video it and um, post that video at a later stage cool thanks guys I hope you enjoyed that just for now and I'll see you guys on the next one